Hey peoples, this is another movie review of Knives Out. As always, I want to thank you for listening, that really means a lot to me, and on to the review. So Knives Out is basically about a rich man who gets murdered on his birthday, so police and a detective come to the house to investigate the murder and to interrogate his family. And that's the movie. Well, that's some of the movie, because I can't talk too much about it because of course spoilers and this is a mystery and basically I'm just tiptoeing around the whole story. But this is a very funny, clever, and entertaining film that I was actually upset with for a portion of the film. Now, the reason I was upset is because I went into this movie thinking I was going to get to watch a whodunit film. And for those who don't know, it's like a throwback to the classic clue, which is someone gets murdered in a house and you have to figure out who is the one who killed that person. And you're excited about it and you're trying to solve the mystery along with the detective in the movie. That's the fun part. That's not necessarily what this movie does. It kind of takes a twist on things. And I was upset about that for a moment. Then I realized I put my own expectations on the movie and I should have just gone into the movie with a blank slate and just experienced where they were taking me. Once I got past my own expectations, I started to really enjoy the film for what it was. So the movie is about the murder, but also simultaneously not about the murder. And they take you on a different journey in order to surprise you later on in the film. It sounds complicated, but it's really simple and it's an enjoyable watch. So because the movie doesn't take the typical mystery approach, it has to focus a lot on the characters in the film. And every single character is entertaining. Everyone has their own specific type of personality. And even though everyone doesn't get the same amount of screen time, I think they all perform excellently. And that's one thing I really liked. No matter how small the character and their actions within the story, they all hold a certain weight within the film. Even the grandmother who has less than a page of lines has a certain presence about her and you gravitate towards her in the movie. But even though everyone does an excellent job, one person I absolutely have to talk about is Daniel Craig. So Daniel Craig has an interesting accent in this movie. And at first I did not like it, it really had to grow on me, and I don't know if it ever fully did, but I tried to ignore it and focus on the character's actions and that helped me get through the film. But I really wish he would just stop playing Bond. I really hope that the next Bond film is his actual last Bond film. And even though I'm not a big fan of him as Bond, this is nothing against the Bond franchise, it's just that every time I see Daniel Craig in another role, he just looks like he's having the time of his life, he dives into the character, and he is an amazing actor. I want to see him in more things that's not James Bond and James Bond takes up too much time so let Daniel Craig leave the franchise and go get crazy rich Asians man or Idris Elba whoever you want to take over that franchise so Daniel Craig can actually have fun in these other films in regards to the story it's very entertaining so I have to give props to the creators of this film because one thing they do is make sure that the audience knows who each character is who are the sons and daughters of the person who passed away who are the grandchildren who are their parents who's a brother who's a sister what does each person do they take that time near the beginning of the film to make sure that they lay all that down so if the audience doesn't know the character's name they can always be like okay that's his wife and that's her husband simple as that and lastly i like the visuals in this film just the way they frame certain scenes was very nice and I really like that this movie didn't necessarily feel like it was in present time. They added some present elements within the film, but it didn't overtake the film. And it kept you in that old classic style of a whodunit movie. I really enjoyed that. But that's all, peoples. I obviously do suggest going to watch this movie. It's one of the most entertaining big ensemble movies that I've seen in a while, where the cast is actually utilized to their fullest extent and they bring these characters to life. Thank you for liking, subscribing, thumbs up, retweeting, commenting, all the things you do. I really appreciate it. Please continue to have a great day. God bless. I'll talk to you later.